From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday, Stop Stories. Monday morning, House Speaker Moultrie told members that all of the issues between the Speaker and the Executive had been resolved. But yesterday, he was back at it again over the government's handling of that recent confirmed case involving the clerk of the House, telling members he doesn't like the way this was handled. The most disturbing part to me was to discover that certain persons were called and were notified that they were negative with no conditions attached, while other persons were called and informed that they were negative but that they should not attend work or this parliament until the contract tracing process was complete. The Speaker clashed with Yamacraw MP Ellsworth Johnson at one point invited the Prime Minister to publicly respond to his recent criticism the Prime Minister did not. The Speaker says this about the situation. The level of disrespect and dishonesty is, is, is something that I am severely challenged with. There was more drama in the House. Later on, Opposition Leader Davis was named by Deputy Speaker Don Saunders and ordered out of the House when he attempted to defend Angleston MP Hannah Martin, who was involved in a back and forth with the Deputy Speaker over a point of order. Davis says he will not get involved in the Speaker-Prime Minister issue. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. All of that came during debate on two pieces of financial services legislation. The government is trying to get through Parliament amendments to the Securities Industry Act and the Insurance Act. The Bahamas and the U.S. have now signed that airspace agreement. It's going to mean about $300 million a year for the Treasury. Tuesday's coronavirus numbers confirming the virus is still very much around, especially in the capital. 57 more confirmed cases spread over five islands, 51 of them in the capital. Hospitalizations dropped to 47, but there are still four persons in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. That total remains at 211. Teachers' union officials expressing concern that corona infections are still affecting schools. The Pan American Health Organization is advising countries to stick to the measures that help to keep the spread under control. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Sunny and warm. Highs in the mid-80s. 86 at Freeport. 87 at the Capitol. 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper. Big and best. Thursday's World News headlines the coronavirus situation in India remains dire. Another day of record-setting numbers of cases and deaths. Almost 400,000 confirmed cases, near 4,000 additional deaths. Health officials are now warning that India could be facing a third wave of the virus soon. Government officials there still have not taken any major steps to try and control the situation. Other countries continue to send in supplies to try and help out. In the U.S., the numbers continue to drop as vaccinations continue. President Biden now believes they could do some major reopening by July 4th, that country's Independence Day. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus 493, no changes. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's an update on Bahamans playing pro baseball in the U.S., Tribune Sports has the latest jazz almost ready to return for the Marlins from the injured list. Both Buddy Heal and DeAndre Ayton in action in the NBA last night. Ayton and the Suns in Atlanta, they lost. He had seven points and eight rebounds. 
Peel had 14 points in a win over Indiana, the Kings making a late playoff push. Get the latest NBA news and the latest on Major League Baseball in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.